So we are doing a session to get to know Lindsay Vera. So what attracted you to UNC Asheville? Um, well, besides just the look of it, I mean, obviously you Google it and it's incredible. So I was excited just for um, the environment here. But um, people I've worked with have mentioned UNC Asheville to me as, as a good opportunity for my first head coaching job. And three years into the mix where I used to be, the job opened up and it just kind of seemed like it was it was meant to be. So when I got here, it was more than I thought it was. So it's um, been it's been a nice uh, surprise, but it's also met the same expectations I had. So aside from a personal aspect or a professional aspect, what is something that not a lot of people know about you that you care to divulge? Um, I mean, I'm big on family. I have a twin sister, and we're complete opposite, though. Like so far from the same people and my older brother and sister are twins too so we have a pretty cool dynamic within our family and then there's four more after that are really older than us so I'd like to say it's kind of a mixed Brady Bunch sort of situation but it's it's definitely been part of who I am and why I'm I think I'm pretty good with people because we're all so different that uh, I've appreciated all the different type of people in my life beyond my family because of them so I love that part of my my life so who's older? You or your uh, twin sister? I'm older by three minutes. By three minutes. Yep. So and I hold her to that all the time. If you meet us, you know I'm older right away. Um, what do you do outside of soccer? Um, do you like going kayaking? What do you do for fun? Well, kayaking, all of that has never really been in my realm of things to do, especially having been in Texas, you know, the past few years and. Um, but I just enjoy any physical activity. Like I love to, I love to still work out on my own. But um, now that I'm here, I would love to start going hiking and maybe actually get a bike. I haven't had a bike probably since I don't know how old I was. But I've heard some good things, and there's good places to go here. So I'm just, I'm waiting to explore that. So beyond just hanging out with people and socializing, I love just to be around people and, and enjoy their company. Um, I hope to add some new hobbies since I've moved to Asheville. What's your favorite type of food? My favorite type of food, ooh, um, I've got to say like Mexican food, big time. Even though I don't really eat meat, uh, everything else besides that is pretty good. I could probably eat that type of food every day. Uh, who is your role model? And going off that, uh, what professional athlete do you admire the most? My role model is um, a woman named Rita Tower. She is she coached me when I was very young for about. Um, six or seven years she played at UNC um, she played on the national team she just there was something about her as she coached me that that gave me confidence and and kind of pretty much developed me into the the coach that I am today that's for sure so um, as far as professional athlete goes um, you know I've worked with I've played with and against a lot of good players um, Yael Averbush she's actually a, a big role model to me as well even though we're the same age um, she's she's a fighter and she's you know been on every level of the game and um, I respect her a lot she's faced a lot of adversity and she's still probably one of the best players I've ever come to know so if you didn't decide to play soccer what sport would you be playing um probably I mean I was a runner as well like I, I, I was I've always been able just to run pretty easily and and so running was a big one but basketball was also one of my favorites I'm I wasn't that good at it, but I think just because I was fast, I could make a bunch of layups, and that helped me. So basketball is fun for me, definitely. Would, it, would you rather be able to fly, be invisible, or be able to read minds? Fly, a hundred percent. I just, I would, I think it's a literally another perspective. So I, that one's the easiest question you've asked. So definitely fly. Do you have any superstitions may have been when you were playing or even now coaching? Do you have any superstitions? Um, a little bit. Like, I mean, certain jewelry I wear, um, like certain like necklace or the, my watch or whatever, like that's that has to be a certain way. Um, I'm big and my hairstyle can change, but I'm big on like it has to be set by the time, like by a certain time, like during that like, during game day or something like that. Um, and I'm just very particular about how I'm dressed. So as a player and as a coach, like, I mean, even just down to tying, retying my shoes or doing something, like everything has to look the part. And if I feel like everything's lined up, then I'm definitely ready to go. Yes. So, uh, Do you have a favorite soccer memory? May it have been when you were back at Rio Grande or when you were playing or when you were playing in high school? Um, the, the 
most recent one, especially from back at in at UTRGV when I was there, um, we were playing at Grand Canyon and we went into overtime and we've been playing down a player for about seventy plus minutes of the entire game and then went into overtime. I had to leave before overtime started because I had to take a flight back home to be at an Adidas meeting the next morning. Um, so my supervisor was in town with us at Grand Canyon and he, you know, met me, I grabbed my stuff, we jumped in his car and I turned the live feed on my phone and we're in, I'm in the car with Lance watching it and I told him, just keep your hands on the wheel because I don't know what's about to happen and I might freak out. Well, we got a PK and like I'm almost to the airport and I'm watching and I my, my whole body is like shaking and uh, one of our girls, Sarah Bonnie, she scored and so it was, you know, sudden death obviously. She scored and like I about threw my phone out the window because I was so happy and I instantly was crying half because I was so happy for the players because they just proved something really big but also because I couldn't be there but I knew they knew I was watching so um, I just went to the airport, cried out of pure joy like talking to my family, explaining like the whole situation that had just gone down and I don't think I would have had it any other way though because maybe had I been there maybe something would have gone much differently but um, that was an awesome memory, and of course, being there in person would have been neat. But it was still a cool, a cool experience to sit there with my supervisor, with Lance, and uh, and yell and scream at him as if it was like his fault or something. But he was super happy, and and uh, I made it home safe. Thank God that day. <laughs> so, so this, what are your goals and expectations coming in as your first year head coach, um, coming into a program you? really don't know a whole lot about what are your goals and expectations for this year? Um, I mean, I have a lot of personal goals because obviously this is my first year as the head coach. So um, obviously just managing and maintaining the, the program that's been set before me because it's not, it's been in good shape. Um, I'm just hoping to add a little something to it and, and see um, a result and results for me would be even small successes. So I'm hoping that we can find a couple different wins that we may not have had last season. Um, but even within a training environment or the type of recruiting that is being done and the types of players that are coming here, um, I'm hoping that will start to come through within just the first season because um, I've, I've been coaching a while and been connected with the youth game for a long time. And um, I think if, if that starts to pan out for me, then that's a big success for me right there. So it might not be so much about the wins and losses because some of that I can't control, but um, I do think the things that are in my control, if I keep them in my in my control and these players and all of us get on board as fast as we can, I think that's a success right there. So I'm willing to take the small successes if nothing else, but uh, I definitely have my own personal goals in mind that I like to keep to myself just to, that, that might be one of my superstitions, but I like to keep that locked in and focused on it individually, so.